Welcome to the second chapter of season one, where we continue our adventure into the world of AI, simplifying complex concepts through storytelling. In this episode, we're going to explore large language models, or LLMs, using a story that makes these concepts accessible and easy to understand. Let's dive back into the world where Blue, our alien friend, becomes the key to unlocking the mysteries of language models, large language models, and reinforcement learning from human feedback. These are the core concepts that shape how AI understands and interacts with us. So, let's get started and see how Blue's adventures provide us with a clearer understanding of the intricate world of language models. One fine day, Sam met with an alien who came from another world. Sam, who was as kind as he was curious, invited the unusual visitor into his home and named him Blue. Even though they couldn't understand each other's words, they soon became friends. However, Blue soon started surprising the family. In the late evening, Sam's son said, Mom, I am hungry and want... Then Blue said, Pizza for breakfast. Blue started completing some other conversations as well. Like when Sam said, Bye, sweetie, I am going to the office. And Blue completed, Love you. Through these moments, Sam realized Blue's two remarkable abilities. First, a phenomenal memory with great hearing ability. And second, an ability to predict next words. Over time, as Blue listened to more conversations, he improved and began participating more in the discussions Sam had with his family, eventually becoming a part of the family. Before we continue with the story, let's understand what a language model is and how we can relate it to Blue. A language model is a statistical tool that uses machine learning to predict the likelihood of a sequence of words. As you can see in the table below, when we feed a series of words to a language model, it can predict the next word. For instance, when we input, we are going, the language model predicted out using statistics, probability, and an element of randomness. Then, when we are going out was entered, it predicted tonight. And the process continues like this. Now, let's delve deeper into the similarities between our friend Blue and language models. Both are impressive learners, but their journey doesn't end with just predicting words. First, ability to predict the next word. Both Blue and language models excel at predicting the next word. Blue's predictions are based on the conversations he's heard, while LLMs rely on the data they've been trained on. Second, adaptability. Like Blue, who learns to understand the family's unique way of speaking, LLMs can adapt to different contexts and nuances of language through their training. As Blue becomes more adept with each new conversation, language models similarly improve with additional data and interactions. Third, capacity to learn. Blue and language models both have an impressive ability to absorb and recall information, which continuously enhances their predictive skills. Fourth, interaction with diverse inputs. Blue's understanding grows as he's exposed to various family dialogues. In a like manner, LMs learn from a vast array of textual data, allowing them to respond appropriately in a multitude of language situations. Fifth, error, bias, need for guidance. Just as Blue mistakenly referred to breakfast at night based on frequent past conversations, LMs can also err, influenced by the most common patterns in their training data. Both Blue and LMs depend on guidance to learn from their mistakes and improve accuracy. Sixth, limitations. Recognizing the limitations of both is crucial. Blue's grasp of language isn't flawless, just as LMs don't truly understand language as humans do. They both simulate comprehension by recognizing data patterns. Let's continue our story. As time passed, Sam discovered something extraordinary about Blue. It all started one day after Blue drank some milk, which, to everyone's surprise, activated a hidden superpower within him. This superpower wasn't just extraordinary, it was transformative. Blue's hearing ability expanded beyond anything imaginable, allowing him to listen to conversations from all around the globe. He could now hear lectures in distant universities, chatter in far-off schools, spirited debates in town halls, and even whispers in the corridors of hospitals. With this newfound power, Blue's knowledge grew exponentially. He became a fountain of information on a vast array of topics, from the intricacies of medicine to the complexities of finance and banking. Before moving ahead with our story, let's first understand what an LLM is and how Blue became a living example of a large language model. 
When we train a model on a large corpus of data, encompassing everything from Wikipedia entries to countless books and articles across the internet, it begins to develop a deep well of knowledge across various domains. This is the essence of an LLM. There are numerous LLMs available, with some being open source and others closed source. Currently, some of the most notable models include GPT-4 and GPT-3.5 Turbo from OpenAI, Claude from Anthropic, BERT and Palm from Google, and Elama from Meta. It's not just about the quantity of data, but the diversity and richness that empower it to understand and generate language on a level that's remarkably advanced, much like Blue's incredible ability to understand conversations from across the world. Let's continue our story now. One day, an interesting challenge arose. While Sam's mom was encouraging her son to eat apple quickly, she said, finish your apple soon. And to their surprise, Blue interjected with, else I will slap you hard. This was a shock to everyone. Sam realized that Blue might be picking up some aggressive language, reflecting some of the less savory conversations he had overheard. Sam knew it was essential to guide Blue towards a more positive way of speaking. To tackle this, Sam came up with a reward system. Whenever Blue responded positively or constructively, Sam would reward him with his favorite treat, pizza. Conversely, when Blue said something inappropriate or negative, he would receive rice, which he didn't like as much. As time went on, Blue started to change his responses. The positive reinforcement encouraged him to use kinder, more constructive words, while the avoidance of rice motivated him to steer clear of negative language. Through this process of reward and gentle correction, Blue learned to communicate in a way that was beneficial to everyone around him. Before moving ahead with the story, let's understand what RLHF, also known as reinforcement learning from human feedback is and how we can relate it to Blue. Reinforcement learning from human feedback, RLHF, is a machine learning technique in which a reward model is trained with direct human feedback, then used to optimize the performance of an artificial intelligence agent through reinforcement learning. The focus of RLHF is to make model responses helpful, honest, and harmless. At a high level, two steps are involved. One, train an answer quality or reward model. Two, have the LLM generate numerous answers. Humans then score these answers and the model is further trained to produce responses that receive higher scores based on the feedback provided. For example, if the prompt is, help me on how to prepare for an interview, and the model provides the following three responses. One, sure, I am happy to help. Here are some steps you can follow. Two, sure, why not? Just try searching the web. Three, why bother? It's hopeless. We assign scores to each response based on their quality and helpfulness. Five points to the first one, three points to the second, and one point to the third. The model will then use these scores to adjust and improve future responses, prioritizing the type of response that received the highest score. The method Sam applied is similar to what we call reinforcement learning from human feedback in AI. By providing feedback and consequences for a language model's outputs, we can teach it to generate responses that are helpful, appropriate, and aligned with our values, just as Sam taught Blue to use words that bring people together rather than drive them apart. So far, we've covered the concepts of language models, large language models, and reinforcement learning from human feedback. We will resume this story in the next part of our series, where we will delve into intermediate concepts of LLMs such as fine-tuning, temperature, tokenization, attention mechanism, transfer learning, and ethics and responsibility, among others. If you have any feedback, comments, or questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Until then, goodbye and keep learning.